Welcome, welcome to the course on problem solving and computer programming using C. This video is about course organization and study plan. Course organization and study plan. Probably this is the first video you may have to watch. But uh, I have actually prepared a PDF file. You can see here the PDF file, course organization and study plan. Uh, but since we cannot upload PDF files directly into YouTube, I am preparing a video for it. I am preparing a video for it. I will be uploading this video. I will be uploading this video. Uh, if, if you already have this course organization and study plan, because uh, I already communicated it to the principals of some colleges. So if you have that uh, video, uh, that PDF file, then please do share with your friends. Otherwise, you can go through this video in detail and plan how to study. This course is totally divided into 13 modules. The actual content is divided into 13 modules plus one module plus one module which introduces you to the course, which introduces you to the course. So that is that module I call it as module zero. So apart from it, you have 13 modules. Here you can see total number of modules is 13. And in this video, I'll be also covering about the study plan study plan so let us discuss uh, if, if you have if you don't want to watch the video fine you can just take a snapshot i'll just wait you can take a snapshot of this one you can pause it and take the snapshot if necessary and then you can take the snapshot of this one this one also And this one. So in module zero, I will just introduce you to the course. I'll introduce you to the course. Why we have we have to study this problem solving, uh, often neglected one problem solving. Engineering is all about problem solving, but unfortunately, it is often neglected. We don't solve problems. So problem solving is very much essential. Because when you go to the industry, when you go to the industry or if you become an entrepreneur, even if you become an entrepreneur, the problems which you are going to solve are not the list of experiments which, you, which are present in your syllabus book. You are not going to solve all those problems. So you have to solve new problems. That means you need to know how to solve the problems. So I will introduce you to the course, why we have chosen this problem solving and why computer programming why computer programming and how do you use computer programming uh, to solve the problems and why we have chosen the c language and uh, it also tells about uh, the relationship that should be present between a teacher and a student and also it introduces me to you so there is one uh, video called as about the course in telugu about the course in Telugu, but uh, uh, I will not upload it uh, uh, into the YouTube as of now because I want to make a separate course exclusively on in Telugu language. Exclusively in Telugu language, I will try to explain this course using only Telugu language. So probably at this point of time, you may not find the video related to the about the course in Telugu. So that is regarding module zero. And in module one, introduction to engineering, you can see the subtopics. You can see the sub subtopics because any engineering field is an application of science. Any engineering field is an application of science. And as engineers, we use mathematics extensively. So I will introduce to you the science, mathematics, engineering, and technology. What are the difference and what is the role played by each and how they integrate, how they integrate uh, how they integrate and how the how we use those things uh, science mathematics engineering and technology to solve the problems and how the engineering has evolved over the years and the current and future trends both the current and future trends those things will be introduced in module one in module two module two is about introduction to computer science introduction to computer science 
uh, re remember it is not just exclusively for computer science students computer science students it is for everybody because uh, we are in the era, era of industry 4.0 which is about cyber physical systems cyber physical systems that means all the devices including the heavy machinery or maybe the factories also will be controlled using computers and using internet it is about cyber physical systems cyber physical systems that means all the physical systems including the machines like lathe machine etc they will be controlled in future in future using computers and internet it, it is already ha uh, happening it is already happening so but may not be in a country like india but in, in country like uh, germany uh, these things are happening already so everything will become uh, controlled by a computer and uh, it is something like electricity we use electricity everybody uses electricity so everybody uses uh, computers so you should have some knowledge about these computers so this this model is for everybody it's not for computer science students so what is a computer oh how oh, this computer has evolved and then um, uh, what is the difference between the calculator and say computer and other uh, electronic devices? So how the computers have evolved over the years, generations of computers, uh, what makes a computer that is internals of a computer and how actually the computing has evolved, computing has evolved starting with uh, say pebbles etc. And also software, broad classification of the software, how do you classify the software, what is the role of the software. And then the psychology behind computer science, a new one, a new topic you can say, uh, the psychology behind computer science. What is the psychology? What is the psychology? What uh, you need? What you need to become a computer science professional? What are the thinking styles, thinking uh, abilities you require to succeed in computer science? And then I will try to demonstrate uh, uh, a computer uh, maybe you can find a lot of uh, other videos also uh, in youtube you can watch them uh, computer demonstration uh, with uh, try to make what is essential for you there is not an extensive one but what is essential for you and then problem solving i can say it is the uh, one of the important modules problem solving so what is a problem when you say you have a problem how do you solve the problems how do you solve the problems and what are the language independent ways of solving the problem like algorithms, pseudocode and flowchart. So we will discuss in detail the algorithms, algorithms. So and then engine, from the engineering perspective problem solving. Next we will discuss about programming, what, are the, what is the programming methodology, what do you mean by programming abstractions and what do you mean by programming paradigms. So this gives you a broad scope, broad scope. Uh, if you go through this uh, module, you can easily learn other module, other uh, languages also. So re remember, uh, uh, the languages are not uh, totally different things. So all the languages contain the essential features, the basic features will be present in all the languages. If you understand some feature, features of a particular language, then it is very easy for you to understand the features in other languages. Of course, the languages will have their own unique features also. The, those things you may have to study. Those things you may have to study. So those things will study as part of the programming. Next, introduction to the C language. Introduction to the C language, I will introduce you to the C language. Why C language? What are the features of the C language? And then the fundamentals related to the C language. Fundamentals related to the C language. And from these uh, module onwards, we will have programming related videos also. Programming related videos also. So different programming related videos will be present. And you can go through those programming videos. And then uh, the programming constructs of C language, programming constructs of the C language, what are the library functions that are supported by the 
C language directly or indirectly. Uh, why directly? Why indirectly? We'll study then. Uh, library functions that are supported and what are the steps to be followed in developing the programs that we'll study. And then uh, control structures. What is the significance of the control structures? Control structures is one of the important uh, modules. Modules or control structures are important in every language. Every language will have its own control structures, but but you have what are called as uh, uh, structured programming concepts. All these uh, control structures are implementation of structured programming con constructs or concepts, structured programming concepts. So we'll study about the different control structures that are available. Uh, if statement, while statement, for statement, etc. And also, we'll discuss again programming examples, arrays, arrays, uh, which is the general way or the way in which the C language supports uh, collections. Uh, how do you define these say arrays? How do you represent a sequence of elements? How do you represent the matrix of elements? And then the programming examples, uh, simple programming examples like uh, uh, addition of two matrices etc those things will study as part of the array module and then module line which is our, which is about the functions which is about the functions that means whenever you have a big problem you divide it into what are called as modules you divide it into modules and one module is equivalent to a function in C language so what is functions when do you go for functions when do you divide the program into functions when it is not necessary to divide and uh, when you divide how do you pass the values or addresses into the uh, functions that is parameter passing techniques and we, again we will discuss the programming examples. Module 10 is uh, about pointers, module 10 is about pointers. Uh, this uh, maybe the most efficient feature of the C language is pointers, but at the same time, uh, you should be careful. At the same time, you should be careful uh, because it is powerful. So, whenever something is powerful, you can destroy certain things also. Now, uh, what you can do with pointers, what is the power of pointers? I uh, will study as part of the module and uh, the limitations or the warnings related to the pointers also we will discuss. Again, as usual, programming examples also we'll discuss. And then the structures and unions. Structures and unions. Okay, you can, you, how do you collect the data? How do you group the data? How do you group the data? Grouping of the data can be done using arrays. And grouping of data can be done using structures and unions also. How do you group the data? Say, how do you represent the student information? Student has a roll number, name, marks, etc., etc. How do you represent it? How do you group that? How do you bring together logically related data? That we will study as part of structures and unions. And uh, whenever you go, you want to do low level programming, how do you do it? How do you do it? That also we will study as part of the bit fields. And then the files. Files. How do you use files? How do you store the data in the form of the files? Whenever you have a large amount of data, data is stored in the form of the files. Data is manipulated and then again it, the manipulated data may be stored in the form of files or you extract some information from the, from the files by manipulating or by processing the content of the files. Those things we will study as part of the files. And as part of module 13, you will study some advanced concepts, some advanced concepts, strings, pointers and others. Advanced in the sense that uh, actually uh, we, we have already studied uh, different concepts, but you can combine these concepts like say pointers and arrays and pointers and functions. How do you combine? How do you combine these concepts? So that will study as part of this some advanced features. How do you combine pointers and arrays, pointers and functions, structures and pointers, etc, etc. And uh, we will we'll study a lot of programming examples also. We will study a lot of programming examples also. Some features like command line arguments, you can say uh, they are advanced features. Those things also we will study.
those things also we'll study coming to the study plan coming to the study plan so you go through the study plan and uh, depending on your previous knowledge depending on your pre previous knowledge you can follow the study plan the recommended one is you do a sequential study go through all the modules in sequence go through all the modules in sequence but if you have some previous knowledge then you may skip you may skip certain modules so module 0 probably everybody has to go through so because it introduces you to the course objectives outcomes and syllabus of the course go through this module everybody please go through this module and then introduction to engineering all about engineering so if you want to know about engineering and if you want to know about the computer science then you go through this module and don't miss this problem solving because usually no book discusses about problem solving though some in some of the books there may be a title called as problem solving but no book discusses about problem solving and a recommended book for problem solving is uh, how to solve it by computer how to solve it by computer by drome so i recommend that book uh, try to uh, purchase that book if you can otherwise you can probably you can download it also you can download it also study that one so problem solving please don't miss and then the programming programming it introduces you it prepares you to learn other languages also it gives a broad view of all the programming world all the programming world so if you want to know go through this module and uh, from module 5 onwards if you are interested in c language only c language you can start from module 5 you can start from module 5 and you have to go through all the remaining modules if you want to learn this only c language otherwise you start with the module 0 module 0 so apart from these uh, modules videos which i am uploading uh, there are also there are also assignments and i suggest some reading material and also quizzes are there quizzes are, the, are there but you cannot uh, load those things into these uh, youtube videos i have to find some other way some other way so reading material uh, and then the assignments i will uh, upload somehow i will upload the those things or we can form some kind of group uh, some kind of group and then uh, i can exchange somebody has to take the responsibility to find a whatsapp group uh, we can have a huge number of subscribers but maybe uh, that's not feasible that's not feasible but i will try to form a whatsapp group and uh, students uh, who are interested uh, may go through this one or i may uh, give some links to the some other uh, websites where i will be uh, uploading uploading uh, you can do the quizzes you can do the quizzes but it may take a few weeks time a few weeks time i already have the quizzes but how to make you write the exam that's the point i can upload the pdf uh, files somewhere and give you the link but how do you how to make you write the exam actually that i have to explore that i have to explore that i will do okay that i will do so reading material is optional but if you have enough time please go through them try to do all the assignments they make you comfortable so this course is all about uh, problem solving and c language or solving problems using c language so enjoy problem solving so best of luck thank you